So I thought I'd do an update on the 125 gallon reef tank behind me. Haven't done one in a while. Um, not a ton has changed, but things are going really good. So I thought I would just kind of take you through it and show you what's changed, what's the same, and how things are progressing. All right, so here's the 125 gallon reef tank. If you're new to my channel, check out the playlist uh, where I show you everything that I've uh, put into this tank from setup and up until now. I also have a, a small uh, Coral Life BioCube. It's a 29 gallon. I've got a playlist on that. Um, so check out those videos and uh, let me know what you think. But um, we'll just kind of go through and uh, show you what's been going on. You can see the big uh, um, NEM on top there is doing real well, like always. It's split twice. Um, the one is over, one of the splits is over in the BioCube now. And the other one is closed up today, but it's back here behind the gyre. It likes to hang out on this uh, aquarium wall next to the gyre for some reason. Um, Green Star Polyp Colony is doing awesome. Here is uh, a four-headed piece from my really large frog spawn that I um, got for my BioCube. If you saw that video, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll try to remember to put a link uh, and a card on the video so that you can check out that video as well. Some of these encrusting corals are doing okay. This one's getting touched by the NEM, so it's not doing the greatest. This one's kind of encrusting and growing a little bit. These uh, really bright neon green trumpet corals are doing well. The uh, toxic green hammer is doing awesome. Now here's something that I thought was basically on the way out, this torch coral here. It's really been opening up a lot lately, and I've been increasing my calcium dosing because for whatever reason, I just wasn't able to keep up on it and it kept dropping lower than it needed to be, so I've been really keeping my eye on that, testing a lot more, and with the increased calcium, I've seen expansion and growth on a lot of the corals and polyp extensions and things like that. Now the little green um, NEM is back behind there right now. It used to kind of be in this little cave area. It hasn't been opening up a ton lately, but it's still doing okay. Um, some mushrooms have kind of spread throughout this red mushroom here. These uh, Montes have just been growing like crazy, as you can see. Um, this, this toadstool right here is started to become one of my favorite corals in the tank. I just really like the way it looks and I'd like to find myself another one to put in the uh, bio cube. You can see I broke off a piece here and glued it to the wall. I'm hoping that I can get some growth there. One of the cleaner shrimp. The green trumpet coral is doing awesome. I've always had a problem growing zoas, but this colony here seems to be doing okay lately. It's kind of a mixed colony where everything came on one piece. I got it a frag swap and it came from frost corals. This mushroom colony here is doing spectacular. Uh, this frog spawn's doing pretty good as well. Here's my uh, sand sifting starfish, but the fish are all doing pretty good. Um, there's a purple tang kind of hiding out back there. Got my two clowns. Got a hippo tang. I'm not sure if that's new from my last update or not. Yellow tang that was kind of a rescue is doing phenomenal. This melanaris wrasse is doing good. The six line is doing good. Um, this is a scopia tang doing real well also. I'd like to see the uh, clowns host at some point. There's the little one. I don't know if they've technically paired off yet, but all in all things are doing well. I'm gonna add a few more fish at some point and uh, a few more corals. What I wanna do is try some more zoas and get some zoa, kind of a zoa garden down at the bottom of this structure here. And then over here, I've had some acans and haven't had good luck with them, and that's probably my doing. I haven't done a lot of, uh, you know, spot feeding, and I've heard on some of the research I've been doing lately that you need to do that. These two might be able to be salvaged, so I'm going to work on that. But I'd like to do kind of an acan garden down here. 
along that part of the rock and then you know we'll just kind of take a look. I'm going to move this frog spawn away from the Monty and kind of on the tip of this and I think it'll open up a lot more and kind of go from there. So that's really all I've got for you. I'll just kind of give you a look from the distance and get the reflection away. But if you're uh, new to my channel, I'd sure appreciate it if you subscribe, if you like what you see. Um, go check out uh, my reef video playlist. I've got playlists for this tank and for my Coral Life BioCube. And if you're into cichlids and shrimp too, I've got a lot of videos on those. I, I keep those types of things as well. So until next time, thanks for watching and stay tuned.